everybody. I'm Jen Wharton. I'm John Fedchuk. And what are we talking about today, John? We're talking about the final cut on my new album, Into the Shadows, and it's called On the Edge. It's kind of a high octane blues. And I chose a very edgy cocktail. Actually, I didn't choose it myself. I contacted somebody that knows way more about cocktails than I do. But uh, he chose an edgy cocktail, and I really like the ingredients. So this cocktail is called Stolen Huffy. I have no idea why. I think that the reason why this cocktail is so edgy is because we're using a rye whiskey that has been infused with chilies. So it's an ingredient that we're very familiar with. We're just using it in a different way. So it really made me think of John's tune because people might know this tune because you've used it in a different way before. I originally wrote it over 20, 25 years ago. I recorded it with my big band. Uh, but now the sextet does it kind of in a more open, open kind of setting where we kind of all let loose on the last tune on the record. So this is a good cocktail for letting loose. We hope. We're making it for the first time as you're watching. So here's what you'll do. rye mash in it and it has to be uh, it can be called a straight whiskey which this is Rittenhouse straight whiskey if it's not aged for more than two years and if it has no other uh, alcohol added to it it's not a blend what I did was took some Thai chilies and uh, put them in my infuser this is a handy dandy present from my handy helper a couple years ago and uh, we infuse a lot around here but with spicy stuff, it's very, very important to taste frequently. Don't guzzle the alcohol, but you need to taste frequently because it's very easy to go over the edge with the spice level and you ruin a whole half a bottle of uh, alcohol doing so. So this, I didn't use it for about an hour-ish. I, mean, I didn't, wasn't timing it. I was just going over smelling and, and tasting just a little bit to see if I could handle the heat. And I got it to a heat level where I like it. It may be different for you, so be careful when you infuse. If you don't have one of these fancy infusers, you can use a ball jar, mason jar, anything like that. John, will you put that in there? Sure. The next ingredient is mezcal. Mezcal is interesting because it is, all tequilas are mezcals, but not all mezcals are tequilas. Tequila is made from the blue agave plant, but mezcal can be made from any agave plant. And the what makes it most distinctive taste-wise is, is the distillation process it goes through. This goes through wood and charcoal, so it really gets a smoky flavor, kind of like that peaty stuff we were drinking last night. Go ahead. Go. <laughs> You're so fast. Next, we'll be using sweet vermouth. We've used that before. You guys are all pros. The original recipe here calls for dry orange curacao, but this is all we have. We have Cointreau, which is triple sec. It's dry, it's orange. That'll do for now. We're also using simple syrup. And we use two dashes of aromatic bitters. To the freezer! And now you stir. 20 seconds, you think? Sure. Can you handle that much dancing? No. We've now learned that 20 seconds is happy birthday twice. That's how you know how much to stir. <laughs> Oh, wash your hands, wear your mask. All right, now I'll be uh, straining into chill plus. The stolen huffy. 
Cheers. Thanks for drinking with us. And if you haven't already gotten it, please pick up John's new album. Cheers.